Hi all, welcome to this African Cup of Nations no risk trading method where I'm going to cover most of the nations that you can do some no risk trading with and actually make some very tasty profits so if you can smash the likes be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new follow me on Twitter at G is a legend, all the links are down below for playlists on the channel and social media links so I've got a lot of the nations to cover, I think there's about two or three you can't do like um, Uganda but lots to cover in terms of this so Gabon is the host nation, you have Ukuli Manga who is the only um, no risk player from Gabon that you can trade with but you can buy him for 300 quite easily and you can sell him for 400 coins like I can buy a whole page and I'll maybe get 5 or 6 quite easily and I'll sell these on quite aft afterwards and make 180 coin profit with Ivory Coast you've got lots of players, you've got Boca, you've got Kone, you've got Toure right away all in that no risk bracket However, Ivory Coast have a hidden gem in terms of making some serious, serious profit. Lucina Traore, he sells for 1.4k, 1.5. Um, you can actually nab him for 600 coins. And in, the, in this example, I actually nab one of them for 600 coins. I didn't expect at the time, um, after finishing all the recording, that I would actually make profit. I just thought seriously not but we got one for 600 and sold them on for f we sold them on for 1200 just to kind of guarantee the profit because we felt 14 1500 is it definitely selling and it was there for about 10 15 minutes we thought we'll go to 1200 and he sold no problem so Lassina trail rate is worth nabbing for 600 if you can when you move with Ghana you've got plenty of options um, in terms of the rares you've got Donsa you've got Badu and you've got Asari and most of these guys could prove useful depending on the squad builder challenges and in terms of your non rares you've got Thomas and you've got um, Adoma so you're pretty well covered these guys um, don't really sell for 650-700 so it's kind of a bit of a risk but with Ghana um, Thomas and Adoma if you can get any of them for 300 they do sell them for a good bit of profit like 500 coins but um, Badu, Donsa and Asari um, they sell for 650 generally, but potentially once African Cup of Nations kind of kicks in, they may peak up to about eight, 900 coins. They may even peak up to 1,000 coins, who knows as time progresses. Algeria have plenty of useful Medjani, um, Mezloub, Bentaleb, Hani, and Tidier, all, and Lysen. All of these guys, if you can get any of them for 300, you're laughing. They generally sell between four to 600 coins, and they're easy profit. Like I've got quite a few of Lifsen and Medjani. With Tunisia, you've got Ben Hatira, um, Ben Aloon um, is your only options. But these guys, if you can get any of them for 300, it's hard enough. Um, ben Hatira, I've got a couple of him. Um, sold them on for 450, so I was quite happy. But with a lot of these nations, any of them that you can get for 300, they generally seem to sell for 400, 600 coins on the 300 route, so it's quite handy. With Mali, you've got Bakri Tsako, you've got Triori for non-rares. Diaby, at the moment, he is a 600, but he doesn't really sell for 650. Um, it's a bit annoying. If you can nab any for 600, then it's handy. But he doesn't sell for 650 just now, which is a little bit annoying. I'd kind of hope he did, um, did sell for 650, but it's kind of hard to work with. Triori is useful to buy. I've noticed he sells for 400 pretty readily um, on, on when you try and sell them up so any that you get for 300, um, 100, 100 practically 100 coins extra but it's obviously like the coins after tax so it kind of builds up over time so and he's also in a useful league trio I've noticed so keep that in mind with them when you go to Burkina Faso you've only got the rares to work with um, of Nakuma he, um, he's the only rare um, player you can rely on and um, there's no other no risk players, but he sells for 700 quite readily, I've noticed, which is quite handy. Bertrand Triori is the only other option, but he is not possible to buy for less than 1500. With DR, uh, DR Congo, sorry, Democratic Republic of Congo, um, Cabano is only f 75 non rare you can buy, um, which is he does sell for about 400, so it's handy. Cameroon, plenty options from there, you've got um, Kanabiak, he is the only non rare. But um, he sells quite readily for four or five hundred coins, I've noticed, which is quite handy. And I'm hoping to nab a couple. Senegal, you've got quite a few options in defence, which is quite handy. 
but you've also got plenty of options as a whole. You've got Sanaka, Mbengu. Mbengu, really, if you can get him for 300 coins, you've done well. Diami's another. He sells for about four or 500 coins. Um, sometimes I push at 600. Endoy sells for about four or 500 as well. And these are the players that if you nab, this is practically half a team you're buying. Um, Dram's another one. Digne. These are players at the moment they are just selling for a little bit more than they usually would. Like you could usually get these guys 300 quite readily, but at the moment, I, just because of African Cup nations and just due to other aspects, they're selling a little bit more and you can get a little bit more profit, which is handy. With Morocco, there there is a couple options in El, El Amadi and Tanan. Um, El Amadi, he is a bit hard to nab for 300 and same for Tanan, but you get the odd one. Um, come through if you if you're very patient and well, it's good profit at the end of the day. They're 200 coins profit after tax. Egypt is the real difficult one. El Mohammedi, like I can bid like 50 of him and I will not get one. Um, I'll get the odd one on maybe the, like after 100. It's like one in 100 kind of with him. Um, but I think because he's a BPL and he's Egyptian, he is very hard to kind of rely on getting cheap. But it's still worth doing. In Zimbabwe, the last nation to focus on is Cat Sandy. He has a good profit margin, um, four or five hundred coins, and also with being the only gold from Zimbabwe, you're kind of laughing. But all in all, this is practically all the players you kind of need to focus on, and I hope you found this really, really useful. Let me know in the comments down below um, what players to kind of else that you might think could prove useful for African Cup nations. I've got a few ideas in mind still, so take it easy. Remember to smash the like, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Legend, and I will catch you all later.